What's up guys, I'm Nick, and this is Build Dead Build, and I am son of Byford, brother of Al, bad as my mama, and run is my pal. All right guys, if you've been around for a bit, I've been teasing this for a while, and I think it's time to take it from one X to Dos X. That's right, we're gonna build us an X carve today. So guys, my understanding is that Apple has really good assembly instructions on their website, so I will link those down below, but I remind you that I am a professional idiot, and I do have my PhD in not understanding instructions. So I'll probably fast forward through this build, and I'll only stop when I really mess stuff up, and then we'll talk about it. Let's go. Whoop. All right, it is the next day. Uh, just a quick check-in, uh, about an hour and a half assembly yesterday. It's going pretty good. The instructions on Inventable's website are like top-notch. They really go through it. One thing I would recommend, and this is just something I didn't catch immediately, a lot of these things use the same parts, the same screws, the same nuts and things like that on the package. I was just looking for, you know, if this is a T-nut, but on the packages, a lot of these say like waste board T-nut on it. It's just gonna make your life a little bit easier because you're gonna have the right number of components. I actually opened some other packets uh, with T-nuts in them. Anyway, it's a, it's a whole thing. Pay more attention than I do and you'll do fine. point in the build where you take a step back and you say breathe Nick breathe you got this okay so we are starting to look like a CNC now and I only have that much stuff to still do <laughs> welcome to day three kids oh, oh, oh. Smooth, smooth like a baby's butt. Baby's butt. This is the part on TikTok where it's like, my life be like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. My life be like, you know what I'm talking about? And Fancy was her name. I don't know. What should I name it? 
feels weird just calling it the CNC. Johnny O or something. Gotta, gotta take my project down to Johnny O, right? All right, so first project that I ran on here, I uh, <laughs> just a little scrap board here, but I, I set my zero at the edge of the board where the image started and not relative to where it was in easel. That's my, my mistake. Uh, but I, instead of put it, instead of starting the CNC here, I should have started it here and then it would have centered it better. If that makes sense. So on the CNC, I, it, it seems like you want to kind of avoid clamps if you can, just so you don't hit them with the router and mess up a bit or possibly your router. So what I'm gonna use is the old blue paint tape trick. And what I have here is some six inch wide blue tape, uh, just cause it makes it a little easier. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, tape it down to your spoil board and then you're gonna tape it on the back of your piece, your, your product, so your wood. Um, and then you use CA glue. In this case, I'll be using uh, Starbond. And what you do is you just put the, so I'm gonna take my piece here and I'm just gonna probably do this. So I'm just gonna use medium CA glue, but you probably use just about anything here, and accelerator. Now I'm gonna put the CA glue on the actual spool board part because I don't wanna accidentally drip glue into the T-track. And then I'm just gonna hit the accelerator. This is just gonna cause it to bond faster and make my life quicker. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that on here. And then we take this guy and we set it down. First up, I'm just gonna surface this thing. If you noticed, it's not, it's kind of rough sawn. Uh, and I'm just using one of these style bits. Surfacing bit, I think is what it's even called, right? This is a, uh, surfacing carbide tipped bit. And basically what I did is in easel, I took a, a rectangle, the size of this board, actually a little bit wider and taller than this board. And I, I put it on there and then I just sank it like a, a tenth of an inch. So, so we'll just take off. You can see it because it's actually over there right now, but I didn't home the machine first. So I think when I set the, the starting point, it got it wonky. So it's currently, it's doing the whole size, but it's doing it kind of up and to the right a little bit. So once this gets done, I'm gonna have to figure out how to mill the rest of it down. Newbie mistake. All right, guys, before we get to the, the spoils of our, our newest venture here, I would just like to say thanks for sticking around till this point in the video. If you dig what we're laying down here, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'm getting very close to 100,000 subs, and that would just be awesome. I would also like to highly encourage you to go check out my Patreon page. I will link it down below. My patrons, these guys right here, are the ones that keep the lights on in the shop and whiskey in my coffee. I've had a lot of activity over on Patreon lately, so I just want to give a couple of single shout outs to Rich Haley, Ron Harbour, and John D. Thanks for joining up, guys. And as always, an extra special thanks goes to my top tier patrons or my boiler maker patrons. Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Derek Coach, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy Muffins, Andy the Viking, Dwight Smith, Todd Stewart, Paul Christensen, Jason Ayers, and our newest boiler maker, Reed Means. Clinkies. Mm. Oh, honey bear chaser. Whoop. Okay, guys, so let's pull this guy off. <laughs> Here we go. Ha ha! All right, so once you can shear it off, then you just peel your tape off. So this is two passes. This one was a just a straight bit, and then the second one was like a 30 degree, like V-carve bit. 
uh, just to kind of smooth everything out, make it look kind of cool. I'm still having an off-center issue here, as you can see. So if anybody can tell me, anybody that's like CNC guy, can you tell me why? Because I, I zero to here. This is in the center of my workpiece on the machine. I'm going to go in and calibrate again because maybe that has something to do with it. Uh, but if, if you guys know anything that I may be doing wrong, uh, let me know. Sugar skulls, anyone? Hey guys, thanks for coming along for the ride. Thanks for playing. And now, I gotta get to work. Whoop. So I'll fuck. <laughs> so I'll probably fast forward through this bill. Build. <laughs> Baby's butts aren't smooth, man. He's like diaper rash and stuff like that. I don't know if came up with that. Moron.